In ring theory or abstract algebra, a ring homomorphism is a function between two rings which respects the structure. More explicitly, if R and S are rings, then a ring homomorphism is a function F. R S such that F equals F plus F for all R and B in R. F equals F F for all R and B in R. F equals 1 S equals 1 s would cause several of the properties below to fail. If r and s are rngs, then the natural notion is that of a rng homomorphism, defined as above except without the third condition f equals 1 s. It is possible to have a RNG homomorphism between rings that is not a ring homomorphism. The composition of two ring homomorphisms is a ring homomorphism. It follows that the class of all rings forms a category with ring homomorphisms as the morphisms. In particular, one obtains the notions of ring endomorphism, ring isomorphism, and ring automorphism properties. Let F, R, S be a ring homomorphism. Then, directly from these definitions, one can deduce F equals 0 S, F equals minus F for all or in R. For any unit element or in R, F is a unit element such that F equals F minus 1. In particular, F induces a group homomorphism from the group of units of R to the group of units of S. The image of F, denoted in, is a subring of S. The kernel of F, defined as ker equals a in R, F equals zero, is an ideal in R. Every ideal in a commutative ring R arises from some ring homomorphism in this way. The homomorphism F is injective if and only if ker equals zero. If F is bijective, then its inverse F minus one is also a ring homomorphism. In this case, F is called an isomorphism, and the rings R and S are called isomorphic. From the standpoint of ring theory, isomorphic rings cannot be distinguished. If there exists a ring homomorphism F, R S then the characteristic of S divides the characteristic of R. This can sometimes be used to show that between certain rings R and S, no ring homomorphisms R S can exist. If R P is the smallest subring contained in R and S P is the smallest subring contained in S, then every ring homomorphism F, R S induces a ring homomorphism R. R P S P. If R is a field and S is not the zero ring, then F is injective. If both R and S are fields, then M is a subfield of S, so S can be viewed as a field extension of R. If R and S are commutative and P is a prime ideal of S then F-1 is a prime ideal of R. If R and S are commutative and S is an integral domain, then Kerr is a prime ideal of R. If R and S are commutative, S is a field, and F is surjective, then K is a maximal ideal of R. If F is surjective, P is prime ideal in R and K P, then F is prime ideal in S. Moreover, the composition of ring homomorphisms is a ring homomorphism. The identity map is a ring homomorphism. Therefore, the class of all rings together with ring homomorphisms forms a category, the category of rings. For every ring R, there is a unique ring homomorphism ZR. This says that the ring of integers is an initial object in the category of rings. For every ring R, there is a unique ring homomorphism R0, where 0 denotes the zero ring. This says that the zero ring is a terminal object in the category of rings. Examples The function f z zinc, defined by f equals a n equals a mod n is a surjective ring homomorphism with kernel n z. The function f Z6, Z6 defined by F equals 4A, 6 is a RNG homomorphism, with kernel 3Z6 and image 2Z6. There is no ring homomorphism zinc Z for N1. The complex conjugation CC is a ring homomorphism. If R and S are rings, the zero function from R to S is a ring homomorphism if and only if S is the zero ring. On the other hand, the zero function is always a RNG homomorphism. If R x denotes the ring of all polynomials in the variable x with coefficients in the real numbers R, and C denotes the complex numbers, then the function f. 
R X C defined by F equals P is a surjective ring homomorphism. The kernel of F consists of all polynomials in R X, which are divisible by X2 plus 1. If F R S is a ring homomorphism between the rings R and S, then F induces a ring homomorphism between the matrix rings M N M N. The category of rings endomorphisms, isomorphisms, and automorphisms A ring endomorphism is a ring homomorphism from a ring to itself. A ring isomorphism is a ring homomorphism having a two-sided inverse that is also a ring homomorphism. One can prove that a ring homomorphism is an isomorphism if and only if it is bijective as a function on the underlying sets. If there exists a ring isomorphism between two rings R and S, then R and S are called isomorphic. Isomorphic rings differ only by a relabeling of elements. Example. Up to isomorphism, there are four rings of order 4. On the other hand, up to isomorphism, there are 11 RNGs of order 4. A ring automorphism is a ring isomorphism from a ring to itself. Monomorphisms and epimorphisms Injective ring homomorphisms are identical to monomorphisms in the category of rings. If F, R, S is a monomorphism that is not injective, then it sends some R1 and R2 to the same element of S. Consider the two maps G1 and G2 from Z, X, to R that map X to R1 and R2, respectively, F, G1 and F, G2 are identical. But since F is a monomorphism this is impossible. However, surjective ring homomorphisms are vastly different from epimorphisms in the category of rings. For example, the inclusion ZQ is a ring epimorphism, but not a surjection. However, they are exactly the same as the strong epimorphisms.